Hi. We are. Um, <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, I stick myself in something because I see these flashes, I think, from my own vortex about doing things with animals, applying the things I've learned. Um, but I get confused because how much effort is required on my part to do things? Well, action, yes, but effort, well, let's define effort. Effort is action with the presence of resistance. And you know that because when you try to turn a knob, the more resistance that is on the knob, the harder it is to turn and the more effort it requires. So effort is action with the presence of resistance. So are you talking about effort or action? Well, this is the thing I'm confused about because I'm thinking about... Well, just start your sentence over again because yeah. you, you were offering a very clear picture of how you're feeling. So just start over as if you just sat down and use the word action instead of effort and see if it fits. How does action fit in to all of this? And we want to say inspired action is a really big part of it because it's so delicious to act. When you have managed to find the frequency so that you're realizing the clarity that's flowing to you, then the impulse to act is pleasurable. But if you're using the action to compensate for a vibration that you didn't get lined up now it takes more in fact there's not enough and then you get tired and yeah. overwhelmed and frustrated and confused it's a bit like what the previous speaker said there's too many options yes and too many things presenting themselves and and, and then I get stuck because but you see the thing is we want to clear that up right now there are not too many options you are really picky mm. You're really, really, really picky. You've been selectively sifting and your vortex is specific. Mm -hmm. You just need to realize the specifics of it by getting general enough and free of the resistance, which is what is causing the confusion so that you can realize the clarity and the precision that you put there. Give us an example of what overwhelms or confuses you. You said it a couple of times mm -hmm. here. For example, um, let me see. Which, because if which, you say there are too many things to choose from, yeah. and we say, well, let's break this down. Let's say that you have everything in the world to choose from, which seems overwhelming. And then you just start at a very general place and you say, well, there are things that feel good to me and things that don't feel good to me. Well, you've just eliminated 50% of the choices. That's true. That was fast. Yeah. And then there are things that I'm drawn to and things that I'm not drawn to that eliminates it further. And there are things that feel good to me and there are things that don't, and there are things that inspire me and there are things that don't, and there are things that evoke clarity and enthusiasm from me and there are things that bore me. And there, in other words, if you just keep reminding yourself that you are a discerner and have been, you have no problem choosing we think that your problem is believing that you have the right to choose and even more that once you choose it it will come yeah maybe that if you choose something you miss something else or miss an opportunity but we want to ask you if there are all of these choices and what you choose pleases you then what possible difference could it make that you didn't choose something else that pleased you when what you chose pleased you hmm. you see what we're getting at yeah if I feel good right now, then what difference does it make what I'm using as my object of attention that's causing this good feeling since the reason I choose everything is for the good feeling? I think that's, that's the sense I'm getting. Uh, if I can be appreciative of where I am and what I am and what I'm doing, um, I'm sort of afraid that the things that I see glimpses of don't, uh, will, won't appear or won't happen. So I want to... Being well, you more just practicing have to, being more appreciative of that. That's really a good key. Hmm. Appreciation, rampages of appreciation, lists of positive aspects. Nothing could serve you better than that. But there is something stuck in your vibrational yeah. craw, and you're not alone on this. And that is, 
maybe I don't know for sure what I want and we say yeah. you don't know for sure everything that you're ever gonna want you never will know in any moment in time for sure everything that you will ever want but you know enough to make this a really powerful and pleasing moment yeah. and then the other thing that stuck in most of your vibrational cross is once I identify it and I get my vibrational heart set on it then it might disappoint me and we say that cannot happen if you set your vibration on something it must come and if it hasn't been coming it's because you have got your vibration set somewhere else so if you can get to the vibrational essence of why you want what you want it has to come it will come in some form that will please you to the very core of your being it is our promise to you okay. it's a little bit like what we're hearing from you and you represent a lot of people it's a bit little bit like looking out into the distance of so many potentially wonderful things to see but they're so far away you can't see them so you get a contraption that makes it easier for you to see but it's all out of focus whoever used it last was blind <laughs> so it didn't really help but you still can't see and so it takes a little bit of time to bring that into focus and that's sort of what's happening here it it takes a little while to bring this into focus but once you do then more and more details of more and more clarity comes to you if we were standing in your physical shoes all of you would, would stop saying things like I'm confused and overwhelmed we would find better feeling words I have choices and freedom because it's the same subject it's just that half of it felt bad and that half of it feels good I've got choices I'm overwhelmed pick a side <laughs> I have choices I'm overwhelmed pick a side I have choices I'm overwhelmed I have choices I'm overwhelmed I have choices That's so if you do that a few dozen times a day I have choices I have choices I have choices I have choices you'll start to appreciate the choices rather than feel overwhelmed by them yeah. you see I am free other people expect too much of me pick a side I'm free people expect too much of me pick one yeah. I am free I have too much to do I am free I have too much responsibility I am free I have too much response pick one free please because when you say <laughs> I've got too much to do I've got too much to do I've got yeah. too much to do I've got too much to do people expect too much of me I've got too much to do yeah. there are too many choices I've got too much to do you see what we're getting at? Yeah. pick differently I'm free I'm free and I have choices I'm free and I have choices and I've got universal power behind me I have source energy behind me and I have the ability to focus I have the ability to focus I'm not good at it pick one I have the ability to focus I'm not good at it I'm not good at it and I'm overwhelmed and I don't feel good you pick the wrong one you pick the wrong one yes. I'm good at this this works well for me the universe responds to me I like feeling my power I like remembering how this works I like that the evidence of it surrounds me all the time I like knowing where I stand I like knowing that I'm the center of my universe I like knowing what my point of attraction is I like the evidence that comes I like knowing that it's ever-changing I like knowing that I never stand still I like knowing that I never get it done I like knowing that I get to make a new decision I like knowing that I can't make all of the decisions all at once I like being free and I I like the choices that I have and I like making the choices and I like knowing that I can't make a bad choice because I've never made the last choice so I can always modify whatever choice I've made and that just feels wonderful to me and I like knowing that my capacity to choose is becoming more and more refined just like my taste in wine became more and more refined in college you should have seen what I drank <laughs> and I developed a more sophisticated palette and now what I like is really really good and that's true of every choice I'm really particular life has shown me what I like I have lots of clarity within me about what my preferences are I adore my preferences and I like knowing that the universe will deliver to me my top preference and I know that my top preference will keep rising and rising and rising I like knowing all of that I feel endless and unlimited 
I know it's never going to be done. I love this process of eternal unfolding. I love my eternal nature. And I love being focused in a time-space reality that affords whatever I want. I like knowing that the grid will fill in. I love knowing that if this time-space reality has had the ability to inspire the stuff I put in my vortex, it has the ability to deliver to me with precision and power and clarity and good feeling all of the details of it. And I love how it surprises and delights me even though I put every bit of it there. I love knowing that it's surprising and delighting me. I love manifestations wanted or unwanted because they speak to me about the placement of my spinning disc. And that's such good information for me since I have control over it because I have choices. I can choose this or this on every subject in the world, every subject right now, I have the option of choosing this or this you do. You feel like you have those choices right now, don't you? Don't you feel unlimited? Don't you feel really, really good about what's ahead of you? Aren't you so pleased about what you put in your vortex? And aren't you excited about the way it's going to manifest? And aren't you ripe to feel the inspiration? Don't you just love when impulses come to you? And aren't you ready to take that action when that impulse comes? And won't it be easy? That inspired action is the easiest thing in the world, isn't it? An action that you're offering because you made the wrong choice not so much really good thank you for the awareness yeah. Yeah. so what do you think has happened to your spinning grid disc feels pretty good doesn't it you should stop now